Former U.S. President Donald Trump has pleaded not guilty to a wide-ranging Georgia criminal indictment accusing him of trying to overturn his 2020 election defeat. He's also asked to be tried separately from some of his 18 co-defendants. The Georgia indictment, filed earlier this month, accuses Trump himself of 13 felony counts, including racketeering. 18 other defendants, along with Trump, face a total of 41 criminal counts, including falsely testifying to lawmakers that election fraud had occurred and urging state officials to violate their oaths of office by altering the election results. The plea means that Trump will not appear in person at the Fulton County Superior Court next week to face the charges. We did nothing wrong at all. On Thursday, Trump's lawyers asked the judge to sever his case from some of his co-defendants who have sought a speedy trial. This would put Trump's case on a different schedule from that of his co-defendant, Kenneth Cheesebro, a lawyer for Trump's 2020 campaign. Trump's lawyers argued that they did not have sufficient time to prepare for the October trial date set for Cheesebro. Despite four indictments amounting to some 91 criminal charges in New York, Miami, Washington, and Atlanta, Trump remains the frontrunner for the Republican nomination for the 2024 presidential election. Trump has pleaded not guilty in all criminal cases and could spend much of next year in court, even as he campaigns to retake the White House. Thank you.